This episode is sponsored by Boo Makes Things, a geeky and LGBT friendly small business bringing crocheted cuteness to the world. Check them out at etsy.com slash uk slash shop slash boo makes things and use the code penance to get 10% off your order of crochet animals, crochetmon, pride charms and more. Welcome everyone. Tonight we bring you Ramblecast episode 7. But what is Ramblecast, I hear you ask? Ramblecast is a collection of tangents and additional material we recorded at some point in the last year or so. that's never been released before. Sometimes this stem from the bizarre conversations that just naturally occur while waiting for someone turning up. Or... Sometimes in the case of Bowery, a tangent that just got significantly away from us and just started a life on its own. Hopefully you enjoy these collection of random conversations we've had in this true insanity that is Ramblecast. The mic check question is... Celebrate just because day. What do you wish you could do? Just because. Starting with Dragon. Again, why am I getting a mic check for this? We were away, we didn't it. write a script. You'd still say hello. <laughs> Tell us okay. what you just, yeah. just because? Yeah. Just because. Yeah. In fairness, if I want to do things, I usually just do them, so... Is that just because, Dragon? Pretty much. Because I felt like it. Because I do manage to get myself in trouble quite a lot. But it's usually worth it. So it's fine. Fair enough then. Amy? Um, I don't actually know. <laughs> um, we're exciting. Yeah. Should, 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 I'm, should, like, should I'm I not make the, the question more exact? Like... Yeah. Okay. If you were a mascot... I had to wear a mascot costume for one day. What animal would you wish it was? Just Ooh. because. Hedgehog. Hedgehog or elephant. Because I love hedgehogs and I love elephants. Like a massive <laughs> cartoon hedgehog or elephant. Yes. Okay. Dragon. Though I need help with the other elephant, though, because I would only be able to fill one end. So someone would have to, like, volunteer to be, like, the back end. No, no, you'd be, like, the sort of comedy, like, cartoon version of an elephant. We walk into oh, okay. Disney World. So, Dragon, what would you answer Dumbo be? comes to mind now. What would I be? Yes. Mm. It's the answer to that not really fucking obvious. I'd be a dragon. <gasps> I'm... Personally, I'm quite sure of that answer. <laughs> oh, what? No! What? I didn't see that one coming. No. In fairness, I would say hedgehog have a spider second. onesie that's not that far removed. So What's that? Fine. Oh yeah, I remember the picture. What onesie? <laughs> I have a spiral onesie. Oh right, okay. I've never seen this. Have you not? No. I'm sure there's a picture on your Facebook. I think there is. I will go look. <laughs> I will go look while you continue. Um... The question, yes. Yeah. So, uh, squid. Well, I think for me as well, it's fairly obvious because I could probably be a squid. I love all things squiddy, but I don't know if you would get a particularly convincing animal mascot that's squid. <laughs> Difficult, but yeah, that'd be it. Fair you enough. could go for a Pokemon like Tentacool. That's true, very true. Or possibly a moose, just because I like seeing moose. Very. <laughs> uh, centaur would be cool. <laughs> So you'd Isn't be yourself, like but with more legs. <laughs> no, the, the, well, well, no, because you'd have, like, no. cybernetic legs. <laughs> no, they just, we just, like, nail bits of wood to them, so they just move when you move. That's also a possibility. So you'd just be a cartoon version of yourself, with more legs? No, I'd just be a centaur. But what the top half of the centaur would be if it wasn't you? I mean, that would be a third person. 
How? Oh, You're basically heavy. describing a pantomime horse now, Bellary. <laughs> Three man pantomime horse, yeah. I always did maintain if I ever won the lottery, I would hire Bell Ray's pantomime horse, brackets rear. I'll give you a secret about me and pantomime. I used to work in the theatre, and me and my mate, one of, and we just worked in the front of house, but one of our things at Christmas was to pretend we were the pantomime horse when we're chatting folk up, because you're never seen, so no one could know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Fair enough, fair enough. It's quite, quite effective. <laughs> I'd be uh, Sleepy Sammy, the hammock hawking sloth, so I can just fucking lie down and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Is he cheering? Is he yawning? Is he stretching? We'll never know. Yeah, I'm just lying there and I'd rig up some kind of speaker system to make it sound like I'm talking and saying catchphrases, you know, to, but really, like, who's going to know? You know, unless they take the head off. Is this a real thing? No, I made it up. It was my brain. Okay, it just sounded legitimate. <laughs> so, with you being rumbled. Okay, yeah. Oh, Valerie. I love the way you say that as well, the way, Jay, is though you sometimes think things up with things other than your brain. <laughs> <laughs> think with my lips. Like a Bob's lips. What? What? Uh, I just realised. didn't Maca- get that one. My kebab's late. No. You know what that can Thanks. mean, Barry. Time to get jacked. <laughs> Where's my kebab? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. we're back in. We're back in foods again. Yes. Yep. Oh. He's not finished eating. I don't think you I do have a. You mentioned fucking cornflour for a fifth week in a row. Well, he well, doesn't. And I were that. talking he about doesn't. that in Saturday. <laughs> around that huge queue for the bringing by <laughs> that was disgust. Really? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when we were perusing all the mad names on the uh, curling leaderboard. Oh, yeah, where you got Buttersworth oh. from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Right, Oneida? Yes, I would definitely dress up as a Gundam. Um, <laughs> since it's just because they... So I can I can choose an animal that's not an animal. So that's what I say. Known known animal from the animal kingdom, a Gundam. Yes, it's natural <laughs> just because they. So I'm just gonna choose a Gundam just because. I mean, yeah. There's that Gundam horse. Isn't there a, an old series with a robot cowboy, like Lone Star it's, or it's something Brave like that? Star. Brave, Brave Star. Brave Star. Yeah. yeah. And there's the unicorns and other stuff as well. Thing, but... Yeah. And Bellary, you still need to get closer to your mic again. But it's not comfy. He was so yeah. distracted about not having his kebab. I want my kebab. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. He counted so, about yeah. four there. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Otherwise, I would probably a walking stick or something like that. I just don't have to dress up. I just, you know. A tree, as I am. Be a tree. I think walking stick is an animal, but I'm not sure it's really a. Well, that wasn't walking. the robot. I th- I think it's the bad guy from Brave Star I'm thinking of, who looks walking like sort of a skeletor on. or something like that, but in the cyberspace. Walking yeah? sticks aren't animals. <laughs> no, not walking stick. Walking. Ah, what the fuck are they called? Wandering. Stick a stick insect. Stick. A stick insect, perhaps. Yeah. In Swedish, it's actually, if you translate it directly, it's a wandering stick. A wandering stick. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a stick insect then. Yeah. Yeah, it's a stick insect. You, it's hard. They, they're harder to spot. Yeah. Really. That thing. Tiny, climbing around. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking. I think. But I think I think I've seen a more digitalized version of this guy as well. But sort of later on. So I might mean, be thinking of something else. I think he was riding on a robot horse as well. And they were all silvery and shiny and stuff like that, but Ooh. yeah, can't remember the story of uh, the series. You sure you, you think it might not be a little easier if you just put on a hot dog outfit? Hot dogs aren't animals either. No, technically, it used to be an animal. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> talk, talking about hot dogs outfit, if you own a PS4, I should mostly recommend you guys to get the 
the game Knowledge is Power, because that's an awesome game for those of you who likes to answer questions with your friends, you play with your mobile phones, and you actually have a guy, you, you take a photo of yourself that gets integrated into the game, and one of the costumes are actually a, a guy in a hot dog suit. So, get to, you get to be the guy in the hot dog suit. Is it like one of the Jackbox games? It's sort of like the deck box, but it's it's way better done, way more better produced and stuff like that. So you can play up to six players, and it's just questions and some uh, sorting stuff. And, yeah, and you end up in a big pyramid, and you have to be the first to get to the top. And you can throw shit at each other to hinder your opponents. It's really, really good because I never had the same question once yet. I've played for years now, and the music is really good. So if you have a PS4, get it. I think it should be really cheap on a PlayStation Store now. If you had PlayStation Plus like a year ago, I think you got it for free as well. But I had already bought it, so hmm. that How is a, that's. Pay it, Leonardo. <laughs> they haven't well, paid, they haven't paid me a cent. But um, if you like playing games with your friends and you like answering questions and like pretending to be smart, it's a game for you. It's awesome. Can you remember the the bus pl games on the PS2? The bus. Have you played games? those? Yeah, you had like a buzzer, and you oh, could play up to four games. minutes yeah, at the same yeah, time oh, and answer yeah. questions and stuff like that. It's like a more modernized version for that, but you play with your phones or your iPads or whatnot. So. Okay, and finally, Ash. I'm boring. I'm afraid. I think I'd have to be a cat. That is fine. Welcome to episode 36 of Plummet. It's a very small cast this week because I think everyone is away doing other things. So there's only three folk tonight. But who are you? What are you playing? And to celebrate National Aviation Day, how would you fly without mechanical help? Starting with Bellary. Hello, it's me, Bellary. I'm playing Penance, the RPG, right now. The first thing that came to mind when you said Aviator's Day was like, Aviator is a cool, like sunglasses. That's why I was going to go with that. There probably won't be much help when I'm flying, but I'll still wear them. So how would you fly I... unaided yeah. by mechanical devices? I know, I, I got that. I'm stolen for time. I mean, what are we defining as flying? If uh... Yeah, taking off <laughs> and landing think, and think about flying it. throughout the air without touching the ground. If you think about it, if I jumped off a very tall building, wouldn't mm -hmm. I technically be very briefly flying? With style, yes. Yes. Right, here's my plan. I'm going to get a very long, very elastic piece of cord. I'm going to tie that to the top of one building. I am then going to find another tall but slightly lower building that will I'll be able to hold onto the cord stretched between them and the elasticity of the cord will launch me like a rocket. And I mean, I guess parachutes aren't mechanical, so I'll have a parachute. But also I'm terrified of heights, so this strikes me as a terrible idea. Essentially I'm going to slingshot myself. Does that so count as flying? So what's to stop you smashing into the side of the building? There's going to be a mattress. There's going to be a bunch of memory foam AJ asses. <laughs> on the other side of the building. That will make no <laughs> sense to anyone who's not handled my check, but okay. <laughs> so, are you going to put the memory foam mattresses along the side of the building? They're going to cushion the side of the building that I will be being pulled towards in case I don't get enough height. So that if I do smash into the building, at least I'll be met with cushiony softness. This week's episode is sponsored by memory foam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, memory foam. Apropos of nothing. So, okay. That's definitely a high bar to reach, but uh, can AJ do it? Hey, I'm AJ. I'm playing my cards pretty close to the vest. How would I fly? Well, using my extremely powerful legs, I would sprint to the top of Mount Everest and jump eastwards at 17,500 miles an hour, and then I'm just in orbit and I can just keep flying until the friction of the Earth's atmosphere brings me down. Interesting. Simple as. What else you got? I mean, that's something you could do tomorrow, right? 
Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just don't want to. That's all. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've got stuff on tomorrow. I've got to be at work. Can't be jumping over the highest point on earth. Not on a Tuesday. No, not on Tuesday. No. Finally, this week. Wednesday activity. <laughs> and finally, this week we have Lenida. Yes, I'm Lenida. I play the piano mostly, and I would probably just take a little bit of you two guys with my original idea and just go to Mount Everest, build a big fucking slingshot, and then have like one of those squirrel suits, the wing suits, on. And then I would fly forever, light as a feather, and yeah. Would a slingshot count as a mechanical means? Yeah, I was wondering uh, that. I'm gonna I'm... say no because he didn't ask when I suggested it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you said so a cord is... and then just leap on the cord. You didn't say like, holding onto the cord. You didn't say no. like use it. I did. I said I'll be holding did... onto a very elastic cord. Yeah, a slingshot sort of. Yeah. So. I specifically said the elasticity. Of the cord. Yeah. I ima- imagine you more like a bungee jump. I mean, mm, yeah. what is a bungee jump but a reverse slingshot? It's a device. Well, you're tied onto the end of the cord rather than being shot from the middle of the cord. Well, all I can say is that I'm not happy about being the only one who followed the rules on this question. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I was thinking like, is the wingsuit mechanical help as well, or I mean, yeah, you haven't got not... wings of your own. No, exactly. So then I'd probably just go with find the tallest place on Earth that you can jump off and jump off. Well, and I mean, you can jump off of anything if you're brave enough. Yes. Google defines uh, a mechanism as a system of parts working together in a machine. So I would suggest that a piece of elastic is not a mechanism. No, thank you, better. A wingsuit feels like the best way to fly as a human without any sort of machine's help. So, yeah. Yeah, is a you. squirrel a mechanism? It might be. It depends yeah. if you mean squirrel suit as in like one of the like, flying ones, or you mean like a mascot outfit? No, what I'm saying is a squirrel. <laughs> it is, the, is a squirrel. Is a flying squirrel a mechanism? Uh, is it no, it's an animal. A flying squirrel is like that. That's its body. But if yeah. you built yourself a suit like with like wing sections and that, flying I wouldn't say that that's is funny. a large flap of fabric like mechanic. Yeah, but it's, you're not unaided in that, though, are you? You know, you're using a thing to fly. Uh, Unless you're I'm, I'm sensing like a large I'm, piece of like cloth. Yeah. Then, the cl- then I, you're I'm, using the cloth to fly. I mean, yeah. you know, it's... It's well, not mechanical. It's mechanical. No, it's not mechanical. So I'm feeling that AJ's a little bit sour that he didn't come up with this beforehand. Yeah. And, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm in orbit. I'm, I'm sensing a bit of... Yeah, how are you going to breathe in orbit? <laughs> Without it's mechanical not... stuff. I mean, <laughs> with my... it te- technically, <laughs> technically, you wouldn't have to like hey, be alive look, to fly. It, it didn't say anything about that, so I, I'm with you I there. I didn't say it was a high orbit. I just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only, I'm jumping off Mount Everest. I'm not jumping off a rocket. Yeah. You know? Do you know why they have like oxygen tanks when they go up Mount Everest? <laughs> yeah, I know, but like I've got like super good lungs. <laughs> That's I'm gonna run up. So like. I'll be fine. I'll just hold my breath at the bottom, sprint up to the top, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Wait, four <laughs> steps. Come on, you'll be there. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. See you at yeah. the top. It's, it's, it's good that we don't have any like camels or spiders or anything like that when while while it's we're doing it. Anybody climb Mount Everest on a spider? <laughs> <laughs> so could then I just sit on a flock of seagulls? <laughs> And then I'd be flying because yes. seagulls aren't mechanical. Well, then they can play. The I was, I was, I was thinking that as well. The rules only said it had to be non-mechanical, not unassisted. Barry, so I therefore, don't think being helped by an '80s hair band, was the new romantic '80s new romantic band would help you much. Yeah. Fucking red-breasted robins. If it gives you any pleasure, then we'll pick That's a different bird. That's a great swear word. Barry. Yes. You're better off going with condors, to be honest. Mm-hmm. The condors was or, a band, I'm sure. Oh, was that the Commodores? That's the Commodores. That was that's the Commodores. That's a very different. It was Lionel Richie, wasn't it? Probably was, yeah. Or I 50 like... million hummingbirds. Um, I yeah. feel like Lionel Richie was kind of robbed when Adele came out with her song that hello. starts with yeah. hello. Because yes. every time someone said hello, the response would be, is it me you're looking for? And then mm-hmm. Adele yeah. ruined it. It still is for us purists. Yes, it is. But I think it was kind of fun, though, because it got to be a good meme of clipping those songs together and they talking to each other so yeah i don't yeah, know if you've seen it that was a terrible singer i just want to say okay you can say that i don't agree with you i think she's one of the better things in the female area of the singing people to come yeah, out I, for I a long, think she's long actually time, got so. quite a good voice 
Yeah. Essentially, I'm gonna fly in a magic carpet of albatrosses. Make a magic a carpet, carpet yeah. made of albatrosses, or a magic carpet made of albatross <laughs> feathers, or no, no, it's not literally a magic carpet. It's a metaphor because it'll be look like a magic carpet made of albatrosses. It's just a lot of albatrosses. I don't think that's how metaphors work. No, <laughs> it's imagery. <laughs> it's use of colourful imagery. Yes. I'm at the point where I'm so tempted just to turn this into another ramble cast and just let you just keep going with this rather than trying to get any kind of plummet done today. I mean, up to you. I mean, Pen and Sword PD, sponsored by Albatrosses. Apropos of nothing, is Albatrosses the plural of Albatrosses or is it like Albatross? Albatrosses is the one you're going to marry. Yeah, Albatrosses. Listen to the yeah, Swedish guy, he knows his stuff. It, it doesn't sound right to me, Albatrosses. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm a Swedish guy. I don't know any English, right. so check it out. So I did discover the other day that the singular for spaghetti is spaghetto. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Albatrosses is the actual plural, by the way. Yep, thanks. It, it, it sounded right, so it must be right. Right. Bowery. Yeah. I have this thing that I have found that I'm going to use tonight. It's a thing I bought with you in mind because I found it for two quid on Amazon. It is called the Another art of conversation. So, <laughs> and Lord, give me a number between one up. and 162, and we will debate stupid questions. I mean, that's that's quite a significant range of numbers. Um, yes, I think it goes even further than that. Actually, let me just check. Yes, actually, it does. It goes all the way up to. Uh, oh, the ones are blank. It goes all the way up to 300. So, <laughs> one to 300, Bellary. Give me a question. My random number generator says 262. 262. Barry, what is your favourite phrase or saying? Right, I've mentioned this before, and it's. I think I like it so much because I very rarely have an opportunity to use it. And probably my favourite phrase is, ladies of negotiable affection. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> if you can't figure out, it's a term that means prostitute. But I just, it's, it's very colourful, it's very descriptive, it's its very whimsical in its way. It is very whimsical, yeah. So uh, I, I just enjoy it. Okay, so AJ, what's yours? I mean, a lot of mine, are, I would think, I'm, I'm sort of racking my brain here, I think a lot of mine are going to end up being like Simpsons or Futurama quotes or whatever. Like the one that jumps from like immediately to the front of my brain is like, oh, a little from column A, a little from column B, which is just as you know it's funny no matter what it is an answer for but i don't know like my brain has been ruined for decades of watching cartoons yep to the point where like i could quote you any number of simpsons things but i struggled on my physics exam <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> like it's an armored like carbon rod <laughs> yeah that's the end of that chapter Max I'll, I'll just chime in the Simpsons quotes once in a while. <laughs> so he's the um, man, the man, the name that you want to touch, that you must not touch. And if you're not doing the arm motions to that, like the karate chops, then what are we even doing here? Okay, you wanted to submit that as your answer for the question? No, I just find it funny. I'll have a think. Non-specific Simpsons quotes. Yeah. <laughs> Spider pig, spider pig. Oh, yeah. Nah, see, that's 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 later on. We're talking Simpsons up to bait, probably about season 11, 12 at a push. Well, while we wait for AJ, let's see Lanida. Well, I'm having a hard time coming up with a favorite phrase that I like to use. A phrase that I actually usually use is I'm not allergic to anything except stupidity. It's probably not fun, because I'm not allergic to anything except stupidity, but yeah, I'm a boring person, I know. I'm yeah. allergic to sugar. Yeah, that's not cool. I think this as well. What? Allergic to sugar. Allergic to sugar? No. I wish I was. I should be, but I'm not. I'm allergic to... I think you missed what we're getting at there. I did miss, bit. yes. Yeah, it might have something to do with it, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what are we all talking about over here? Whispering for no reason. Yes. I mean, I'm gonna hate cool. this when I come to edit it. It'll be fine. I'm sure this will all show up properly as a waveform, and it won't be weird to listen to or anything. No, just cut it. 
I'm not gonna cut it, I'm gonna leave it in. There's something really humorous about Scottish people whispering and I don't know why. <laughs> So please have such a specific sound when you whisper. What? Well, I'm trying to whisper. Yeah, it's just it changes the accent in a funny way and it always amuses me. <laughs> so all I need to do to make you laugh is to whisper in future. Right, okay, I'll do that. I mean, no, event eventually it'll get stale. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, AJ, do we have an answer? Nah, not really. Okay, well, <laughs> give me a number between 1 and 300. 128. 128. Which word do you invariably misspell? Oh, God. This is tough. This is going to sound like super braggy, but I'm really good at spelling. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Swapped. I mean, it's probably something like unnecessary or something. Like, I'll mess up the number of S's in it or something like that. Bitch. <laughs> was that your answer, bro? <laughs> you took Valerie's word. <laughs> well, technically my word was necessary or necessary. <laughs> if you want me to take something different, Valerie, I'll say, like, I always feel like I'm spelling artifact wrong. No, because now it's on, like, record that I'm being a petty little shit. <laughs> <laughs> the first time ever, Valerie. What a surprise. Yes. See, I'm sure folk have the same thing I have, which I have, I have certain words that I always spell wrong. Like, I always spell the word penguin wrong. I always put a Q in it for some reason. I have no fucking clue why. Why do you put a Q in penguin? Why do you get a Q in it? Penguin. Q-U-I-N. I always put penguin rather than penguin. I don't know why, I just do. Interesting. Wait, no. Yeah. Abandon the whole cat. This, this demands discussion. <laughs> <laughs> So when you say penguin out loud, you, does it sound more like it's got a Q than a, a G? Cause that I don't might know, be like... it's, just, it's just one of the words I always write with a Q rather than a G. I have no idea why. Say it. Say it out loud. Mm. Penguin. Yeah, it sounds like a G. <laughs> yeah, it sounds yeah. like a G. Penguin. There goes my theory. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know, maybe you were like spelling it phonetically or something. Yeah, I have, no, I have no idea. But I, I always spell penguin with a Q rather than a G. No fucking clue why. It might be because penguins are cute. Are you spelling cute with a Q? <laughs> <laughs> cute! Oh. Yay! <laughs> I mean, it was the worst pun ever, but, it you know. Makes, it makes far more sense than some of Belby's responses. <laughs> I haven't even respond to this question yet, except to call, like, right. AJ a bitch. Right. <laughs> Come on then, Belby, what's your response? I mean, I guess I'm going to say Thermidor. Because How often do you spell Thermidor? <laughs> Quite often, because at work we have a lobster Thermidor. And every week the same guy comes in and says, Somebody spelled Thermidor wrong, and I don't want to tell him that it's me. <laughs> You've been promising him that you'll find who's responsible and fire them for a, a month now? I mean, it's not far off. <laughs> it's longer than a month. <laughs> I can picture some. I don't know. I don't, the guy I'm picturing is a little bit like Mr. Creosote from the end of like Mini of Life, and he's walking. Good. Somebody's misspelled Thermidor again, and I would not have it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't tell him you said that. What's he gonna do? Explode in his Explode into a massive like puddle. puddle. And hit that notification bell. <laughs> Oh, thank God we're not on YouTube, guys. Oh, God. So, well, that's nice. Yeah, I'm sort of like in AJ's plane. I am really, really good at spelling stuff, even in languages that are not my own. So the only thing that is sort of boggles my mind sometimes when I'm spelling in English is, I think it's the word which and where. Like, you know, you have to, in some cases you have the age, and in some cases you don't have the age yeah. and uh, yeah. which well, thing is or a witch or uh, like the, the which, which, flying which, on a broom yes. girl which 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 yeah weather so and weather for those kids. those words actually make me sort of have to think sometimes about what I'm actually writing other than that I don't really know Field. you probably figured out that I'm a linguistic genius by now so I mean it's the same in Swedish so uh, I'm really interested in languages and spelling is not a problem be sure to remark me really hard when you see me actually spelling a word wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be calling you out on it from now on. Yeah, yeah exactly. you should. Very That's old. why I never write anything in the chat. <laughs> <laughs>
Like, genuinely, I always put the I and the E in the wrong place in field. In field? Why? I don't know, right? Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it, field's it, a word you must use more often than I use the word penguin, so... Yeah, or thermidor. <laughs> <laughs> I have to spell thermidor, like, every day. Right? I think the only reason I could possibly spell Thermidor right is because of the the one in um, Robot Wars. I think the only reason I could spell it right is because it's it's a dish in The Sims. There was a robot called Thermidor? Yes, it was a lobster. Really? I don't remember him. Anyway, let's just continue to entertain, rap, inquire, or listen with this game. So, Lenida, your choice of 1 to 300. What was that battery? I just saw a picture of Thermidor 2 and now I remember. Yes. Mine is obviously going to be uh, 255, since I'm a... 255. IT guy, yeah. 255. When did you last give in to temptation? Ooh. Uh, that would probably be tonight, I think. <laughs> oh? Yeah, I was like, I'm just going to settle for these drinks for this episode. And I was like, I'm going to have one more drink. Yeah. So. Felt like it. Yeah, I couldn't resist that one. I usually don't give in to temptation that much, I think. It's just... Far from salt and vinegar crisps. It, it's, it's sort of that, but... Yeah, well, I don't have any problems with eating and drinking the stuff I'm eating and drinking. I don't eat sweets. Life is just... It's meant to be, you know, live your life while you're actually living. I think it's a good thing you could do, you know, relate to, probably, or something. It's another saying, going back, but... Because you never know when you're gonna die, so in moderation. But uh, like I said, I took some more drinks after the mic check, although I hadn't planned to do that. But yeah, so it was sort of I gave in to temptation there. I see. And no, nope, actually, we'll be done probably second every time. So we'll do AJ. Probably last night when I ordered that pizza. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I'm trying to lose weight, but damn, it was a good time. Hell yeah. I regret that. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you, AJ. You should live it while you can. Yeah. It was a mistake. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely shortening the amount of time that I can live it. But, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Fair enough. And uh, finally, <laughs> Bowery, then. So I suppose I could go by the fact now that I'm skimming through the Robot Wars wiki. <laughs> 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 but probably on a more real and slightly, like... I need to have some more self-control level. You know that mobile game I spent too much money on? Yes. They may have released a new character like four days ago, and I may have spent £50. Pound. Oh my Bowery. god. What on a mobile game? Jeez. Tut tut, Bowery. I'm not judging you, but I can't I was like, My thing was, I'm unlikely to get it in like my first set of rolls, so I'll get enough for like a few set of rolls and it'll be cheaper. And I got it in the first set of rolls. Yeah. And I was kind of sorry well, about uh, that. I'm not judging either. It's just if you I like feel the game. Like I'm being very heavily judged. If you like the game, spend money on it. I mean, yeah. I mean I'm a just a, game, to be fair. not spending money on any mobile games, and I'm just a cheap bastard. Perhaps <laughs> I wouldn't sense. normally. I wouldn't normally, but it's a very fun game. Yeah, and I also mean, if, like waifus. Mm -hmm. If you like it, spend money on it. That's what it's there for. That's why I'm like with like stuff like Warframe. I'm like, Joe, you know, Warframe, good game, it's free. I've spent a, a decent chunk of money on Warframe through the years. Like, it's, yeah. like, I don't mind spending money on games that I enjoy if they're free. That's the, that's the idea with them, and I think it's sort of a great way to do it, because I can also play them for free if I want to, and I have the fortitude to not spend money on those long-term games. I just play them whenever I feel like it. But Okay, but Lenida, what if you see a cool thing? If I see a cool thing, I then assess, is this a thing that I actually need? Or will I spend any time after I've bought it on? Most of the times it's like, no, and then I don't. Okay, but Lenida, uh, what if it's an anime girl who has like a big robot -like thing that follows around and attacks bro, and also it turns into a motorbike? Why are you still paying for porn, Barry? <laughs> and this is this is probably the game he's talking about now. So oh, yeah, yeah, the description you just gave, I'm sure. Yep, that would be maybe cool, sort of. But if the game is not that fun, it doesn't really matter. I mean, well, that's why I'm not sponsored by it. But it is a fun game. 
It's kind yeah. of like, Do you like, want to appeal like, to be sponsored by them? We can leave this bit in, and if they ever listen to it, they can sponsor you, <laughs> Belry. Yeah. Sure. I didn't find Honkai that funny. Okay, do a plug then, Belry. Sponsor me, Honkai Impact Third. Give me lots of gems and anime girls, and I'll say good things about you on the internet. Good That's plug. The plug. That's the deal. That's the contract. Okay. It's written up. I, on the other hand, want to express that I'm not a fan of loot boxes. Neither am I. Yeah, but what if they have um, cool things in them? Then they're a trap to get you to spend money. I mean, yes, but I'm very easily manipulated, apparently. You are. Yes, you are. Me, on the other hand, don't give a shit about loot boxes because I'm not easily manipulated. So I think it's bad that children is sort of exposed to it. I don't like that. But when you're an adult, you have to do your own choices. And if you want to spend money on cosmetic items that you might get, that's up to you. Like real talk, I think they can be very predatory, especially when they aim at children. Mm. But Remember, it's not loot boxes, game. it's surprise mechanics. It is surprise yeah. mechanics, yes. But, yes. I would suggest that, <laughs> for like, again, as long as it's not being charged through the roof, and it's not for like ridiculous stuff, and as long as it's reasonable, act, there's a bit of give and take almost. Like, I'll be honest, I enjoy opening loot boxes, and as long as it's like reasonably priced and all that, that I'm alright. That's with why it. you need to buy, I can't believe it's not gambling on Steam, because that basically stole no, all different. my issues for loot boxes. Because I just bought that for like 40p or something like that, and every time I would get a craving to play loot box games, I just play that. It's brilliant. Mm. This game has to begin. Players sit comfortably. That's the first rule of this game: is the players have to sit comfortably. It'll be tough if you've had your bugs chopped off. Yeah. It would be. <laughs> Alright, that's going to make no sense because that was in the mic check, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, everyone wins at this game. There are no right or wrong answers. The game helps you to become a person who is able to speak well, have interesting conversation, share ideas and feelings, listen, understand what people are about, and understand and think about your own life. This helps you become a popular and interesting person. Are we talking about the same game? The Art of Conversation game, yes. Oh, this is no, why I, I bought this the, for um, two quid. I thought you were talking about the um... <laughs> loot box game, yeah. No. Yeah. The loot box game is. I can't believe it's not gambling. As I said, it's like 40p and it stops me playing loot box games. It's brilliant. <laughs> so, let's sort of lighten the mood again by getting back to numbers. So, AJ, please, number. 42. It is the answer. 42. Ooh. 42. It must be. Use one word to describe yourself. Impossible? Give it a try. Hmm. So a single word to describe yourself. A single word. Indescribable. Fair enough. <laughs> no. That's somewhat paradoxical. It's kind of a dodge. Such, such um, a cunt answer. <laughs> I don't know, what, what's the word for... No, because that's hyphenated. I was going to say, like, self-deprecating. It's yeah. a parliament of owls. It's a very funky group. Ooh, funky's a good word. I'm trying to think of a word that means self-deprecating, but like, not, because self-deprecating is like two words hyphenated. Google don't fail me now. <laughs> Marion Webster suggests, oh shucks. Yeah, we're on the same page, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, shucks. Yes, that's a good word. <laughs> I would say, oh, that's a good one. We'll go with resigned. Resigned, okay. <laughs> Bellary? Oh shit, now I actually have to think of someone. <laughs> weeb, that's, that's the word. Easy. That's yeah, weeb. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going with weeb then. What are, what are synonyms for? What's that? <laughs> you cut out at the end. Yeah, synonym for weeb. I think his face is probably too close to his computer so we can't hear him through the mic now. He's a reading. It's a little bit further away, to be fair. It's at a reasonable distance, I would say. Well, when well, by, while Bellry is googling, I can go with mine. Sure, what's yours? Which is a human. Hmm. <laughs> Not to be confused with Did you just say Swedish well, Bellry? Really there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's also true, but I, I would describe myself as human. With one word, definitely. Straight off the top. Okay. With all the things that comes with humans. All the good and the bad things. So it haven't... turns out there's no synonyms for weep, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say weep. You quite quiet, Barry. <laughs> That's because I was resigned to my fate. Of being a weep. 
Let's let's get you closer to the mic, uh, Bellary, and let's hear it in clear words what you would describe yourself as with one word. Admit it, bitch. <laughs> I'm king of the weebs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to randomly draw the next one rather than having to choose a number. So let's go for. I do have a zero at one to three hundred number generator if you want it. Yep, sure. Let's remember that. Might be faster. We could just use the dice bot. We could just use the dice bot. Yeah. So someone do a roll d three hundred. See what we get. One six nine. For the lighter. Do you have a yeah. favorite place in the country? Why is it special? That was a great question. Probably the favorite place in the country is my home, wherever that may be. I do enjoy traveling and stuff like that a lot, but it's always very nice to come home to my own place. In this case, it's the house for now, probably will be for years to come, but it has been many different places in Sweden. So yeah, it's just where home is, so home. Okay. I, I know. Everyone listening, I'm a boring schmuck. I know. <laughs> I'm not fun at all. Well, and, uh, it's a, but... we're intriguing to see if this concept works as a podcast. If it doesn't, then we'll have to go back to playing other things. <laughs> Bell ring? If I'm being honest, I don't... You don't have a special don't really place in the country? Play. I attach more importance to, like, the people or the things that are happening than, like, the place, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, the place is yeah. unimportant to the event. Almost. Okay. I'm trying to think of somewhere. Well, while well, Barry thinks, let's hear from AJ. This is a tough one. I think I'd probably say, like, well, when we were, like, a lot younger, we always used to go on family holidays down to Cornwall to, like, the same place every time. And there was this cool beach there called, uh, I think, Chapel Porth, which was, it was pretty cool. Hmm. So, Any reason? Yeah, we we'll go there. Just pretty nice ice creams there, man. You know, what other yeah. reason is there? Yeah, fair enough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Right, you got an answer, Barry? The best I can come up with is bed. Bed. <laughs> <laughs> I is enjoy that... bed. Is your yes. bed in the country? It's in a country. I mean, oh. I do live in the middle of Bumblefuck oh. nowhere, so I guess, yeah, it's in the country. I have a tiny little follow-up question on that as well, Valerie. What's under your bed? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean, that's a loaded question. Can we please oh, get to it? one fucking Holy episode shit. without talking about Barry's <laughs> fucking flashlight? That's not under my bed. That is in a bag somewhere. Like oh, you moved it from under your bed? It's, it's on yeah, this when I moved the spring-loaded, easy access, <laughs> rapid deployment mechanism that it yeah. <laughs> shoots across the and room and like a... What's that <laughs> machine called? The breakfast Wait. machine? Well, I was more the just toaster. picturing like the, like the end of Force Awakens where Ray calls a lightsaber to her, except it's Bowery in the flashlight. Did you just describe a toaster as a breakfast machine? <laughs> I was making the one from I mean, like... It is a breakfast machine. I was making the one from like... What's that film? It's got Wallace and Gromit? Kind of Wallace the and Gromit, trousers. yes. I see yeah. the, the other one, the actual like... film. The old one with the annoying songs in it that I can't remember the name of. I don't know. Doesn't matter. <sighs> well, I hope Belris flashlight is not loaded. It's not loaded. Oh. Well, it's cocked if it's over. It's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first answer? That's a loaded question. It's like, no, 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 no. Right. Let's just have you answer this one as a group. What is your idea collectively of a great night out? Hmm. Tequila Sunrise mm. would be involved somewhere. <laughs> well, I... And a kebab. Kebabs. I feel like we're all into different things, so... Yeah, except for the booze, but yeah. I feel like we can all agree that a kebab's pretty great. I could get it, well, provided the kebab shop does cheesy chips, but we're golden. What kind of kebab shop do you go to that doesn't do cheese and chips? Well, exactly, yeah, that's what I mean, we'll be alright. Oh god. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I've just seen what the next question is. Back a little bit at uh, your last answer, Bellary. It's like, any great night out for me just sort of people that I like to hang out with yeah. and the place is not that important it's just the people there that makes a night So I thought you were going to say like to refer back to your last answer Bellary a great night out is in Bellary's bed with his flashlight <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not the only sick person here so it's cool uh, next one which I'm going to hate because I know what's going to probably going to be coming in a second tell your best joke so who wants to start? Oh, 
Uh, Bellary. 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 Go. Okay. Bellary. Go with. Did you hear about the IT teacher who got arrested for uh, acting inappropriately with his student? No. He was a PDF file. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I, I thought you were going to do the one with the cows, actually, but yeah. No, I've told that joke enough times. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh... I like that joke, right? That's a good joke. <laughs> Is it your best joke, Barry? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> right, okay. We'll go to AJ. It's, it's just tough because I feel like I don't really tell jokes. I'm My humor is more based in like wry reactions on weird surrealist stuff to what people are already talking about. I don't really go like, oh, here's a joke for you. You know. Hmm. And let me look up a really good dad joke. No, that's cheating. that's cheating. That's <laughs> cheating. That's <laughs> cheating. Yeah, no, it's exactly cheating. Come up with a joke. I don't know. Right I, don't know. I mean, if, if I'm gonna laugh at a told joke, it better be. You cut out a bit there. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that. Whatever website I went on just completely destroyed my connection. <laughs> I don't know. I think if I'm gonna tell any joke, it, it you know, it's gotta be a bad one. I'm going more for a cringe than like a laugh. Okay. Try this on for size. Okay. I told my girlfriend I was drawing her eyebrows on higher than usual. She looked really surprised. Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. Like I say, I like jokes, but like I feel like I don't tell jokes. If that makes sense, I just kind mm-hmm. of yeah. I make funny, funny observations and kick in odd weird things. But I don't like go like here's a joke for you. You know, it's tough. Hmm. Okay. Well, then I do. Yeah, I'm a big fan of puns. If you haven't noticed yet, I think there's some sort of intelligence behind puns, and uh, sometimes I do them pun intentionally. Apparently. So I'm just gonna grab one of the internet here. I think this one is kind of funny. But first I'm gonna go do a, a shout out to my dear friend John Jackknife, who always gives me three or four puns every day Fucking on really. Facebook. Yeah, I love it. So this is one. My leaf blower doesn't work. It just sucks. No, that appeals to me because as well as puns, I just love terrible, terrible jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, probably better at them in Swedish, but I just had to have one in English here for right, all t- the tell, tell us one in Swedish. English lo- just tell us one in Swedish that we yeah. don't get, but other people will when they listen to it. All the Swedish listeners will be like, roaring. Yeah. Laughter. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find one. While you're thinking that he's a terrible one. Why is it difficult explaining jokes to kleptomaniacs? Why? Because they always take things, literally. Oh, It's not good. It's not good. So, um... Oh, you reminded me of a really bad, like, essentially your mama joke. This one is going to be good in Swedish because it's also very... In time, I've seen it before as well. It goes like this in Swedish. Utredningen mot ASAP Rocky drar ut på tiden. Detta eftersom åklagaren inte är rappare. And I no, could no, actually no, don't, translate no it to you. It. Don't translate no, it. <laughs> so, well, someone out there will have to look that up. Yep. So. I'm not sure I can tell this one because it's quite rude and offensive. A little bit offensive. Is it worse than your PDF Do file it, joke? <laughs> Probably, because age of age reminded <laughs> It essentially goes in a your mama fight, like off you go. I didn't think your mum was a thief. But I saw her snatch. And AJ's one reminded me of that about kleptomania. It was quite rude and vulgar. Okay, I've got one more terrible one. Oh god, okay. Last one. (laughs) What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? Hi, (laughs) matey. Yep, that's fucking awesome. It's almost that's as bad, bad as Dan's can, one of... You tell that one to your mum, there's no swearing in it. Just <laughs> to mention Dan's one of um, what's a pirate's favourite letter. Oh. No idea. Oh, is on, it R? And everyone goes R, and you go, R. no, his first love is the C. Oh. <laughs> ah. I'm, oh I'm, posit- I'm, I'm positive I just lost an electron. Better <laughs> keep an eye on that. Good lord. 
Yes. Right, let's, let's desperately move on because we're probably bored everyone that's listening. <laughs> Please. But here, here's definitely a question to encourage conversation. But let's match you up differently so Belry can answer for Lanida, Lanida can answer for AJ, and AJ can answer for Belry. Okay. Who would be okay. the worst imaginable marriage partner? Who am I answering for again? Lanida. Who would be the worst person do you think for Lanida to be married to? Based off his reaction to my Norway joke about Sweden being near the Norway, I'm going to say someone from Norway. <laughs> you can all answer for yourself if you want, but I thought it'd be better to try and get you answer for each other, but okay. Um... <laughs> it might get too real if we answer for ourselves. <laughs> okay, let, let's change it. Which celebrity would be the worst person to marry for your chosen person? Ooh, this is hard. It is hard. Yeah. I'm going to give away the cheeky girls for Lanida. <laughs> He'd be very happy with the cheeky girls. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> okay, Lanida? For AJ, it would probably be like some super fucking fitness guru girl. I don't know how many celebrities are these fitness... I Probably Angelina Jolie. That'd be the worst person for him. Yeah. The worst person for him, yeah. <laughs> on a limb, I reckon, I reckon AJ oh, probably okay. would be alright with that. <laughs> I, he I probably I, I would, but I'm, I'm thinking, seeing how many kids they have and stuff like that, she seems like boss from hell, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I think AJ would be probably really depressed because he would probably be dogged around by her all the fucking time. I think this answer no, is saying no, more no. about you than it's saying about me, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just... I don't think she's a nice person. I think she's crazy, actually. But yeah, so I don't think you would enjoy that at all. Okay. Fair enough. So yeah. she kind of looks like a fish. <laughs> just stay alone, then. <laughs> okay, and, and finally, AJ answer for Bellary? I don't know, I think like Meryl Streep, I just can't see it happening. I can't see it working. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I think Bellary would love being hey, married to Meryl, Meryl Streep. Street. Yeah, no, I think so I imagine has lots of very interesting stories and also has a lot of money. That's true. I mean, no, no, don't get me wrong. I just think long term, like, I don't think your personalities would maybe mesh so well. I mean, I'm looking I out guess, for you here. I'm also, trying to save you a little bit of long term heartache. Meryl Streep's really old, and then I could be a rich widower. That's true. <laughs> I didn't yeah, think that. I, I don't think long term with Meryl Streep quite cuts it. <laughs> you kind of want someone out, quite horrible and relatively young that he's going to be stuck with the most of his life. <laughs> okay. Who can I think of that, I, that we could marry Belry up but young. be young and horrible? Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh god, oh, yeah. she seems <laughs> into all the weird, like... He's got, like yeah, I've got websites. a crystal up my cunt. Oh, have you here? Is Jade a crystal or just a mineral? <laughs> no, you have to ask Gwyneth. <laughs> Or before, uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's. I have uh, to marry Gwyneth Paltrow just to discover if Jade is a crystal or not. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. a hell of a. That, that, I hate to say it, but yeah, that's just how it works. <laughs> what do you call like rubies and topaz and stuff like that? It's. Those are gemstones. Um, yeah, and Jade is a gemstone as well. So. Don't tell them that. Then they have to not go through the wedding. Thank yeah. you for letting me not have to go through the wedding. No, I mean, I think I think we could like do a multi-marriage, sort of a polyamorous marriage between Angelina Jolie and Bellary and AJ. That would be <laughs> probably <laughs> sort of so long, horrific. So you're so saying the worst person to marry Bellary is AJ? I think the no, I think no. the best way that we make out of that is just to just cut Angelina out of it and me and Bellary again. Yeah. Married. Yeah. Probably. I've yeah. seen you two at a convention. You're both happy with each other. It's fine. Yeah, that's what I'd I mean. If you, if I got yeah. to not have to be with yeah. Angelina yeah. Jolie or Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, that's that's I, why, that's why she would be the, the most horrible one for you both at the same time. I genuinely sort of. think the worst person would be someone like Lorraine Kelly. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <She's> Scottish <laughs> as well. <laughs> that would drive him fucking mental. I mean, Lorraine Kelly would. <laughs> Anyway, we'll run <laughs> streaming to onwards to give you a question each this time. What four people would you want with you in a fallout shelter? And now we're getting deep again. Yep. Can so, we choose from anyone in like alive or dead? Or? Anyone you want, preferably celebrities so we can have a laugh about it, but anyone you want. Any four people for your fallout shelter? 
pretty depressing if you just went in there with four dead people. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like to be alone, it might work. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but then why take the corpses in? Like, <laughs> for food. Yeah, more food for me, longer living time. Just go in on your own then, don't take a bunch of bodies in with you. Well, yeah, I had to but choose, for fuck's sake. I can't eat myself, I have to eat somebody. <laughs> So this question then becomes, who would be the tastiest celebrity? <laughs> Fine, we'll is go it with that Rihanna's, one. Is it Rihanna's butt again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I don't think the rest of Rihanna would be very tasty, though. Nah. Mostly skin and bones. Mm-hmm. And Shakira muscle. probably tastes disgusting. <laughs> Why? Based on what? I imagine she'd be... I imagine she'd be, like, greasy. <laughs> <laughs> this has taken a weird turn. Yes. Go on, Mary. Take a weird turn. When? <laughs> like, it be like cheap KFC. <laughs> but why? She just seems like short. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. No. I don't know if I do, to be honest. I, d- I haven't the slightest clue. <laughs> guys, stop playing coy. You know what I'm getting at. Why, no. why would she taste like cheap KFC? She should be like greasy and just like under seasoned. KFC under season? No, but, but like, you know when you go to like a bad chippy and have like SFC? Oh, my favorite one. Right. Okay. MFC, my favorite chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have a, a little follow up questions here then. Is like the four people in the fallout shelter, are we going to be the only survivors or yes. is it just for. A, well, yeah. You assume you're so, gonna be the only survivors, yes. Okay. I mean, some sort of like celebrity farmer then. Yeah. Who's that chef who grows all his own shit stuff and he's like an insufferable prick? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what I mean. Um, Hugh Fairly Whitting store. Yeah, but he'd be insufferable, but at least you'd have like carrots. That's fine, it's the end of the world, you can cut out his tongue. Who's gonna arrest you? Yeah. No one. And he, I can force him to grow carrots and basil. <laughs> I think I made that a bit dark then. Um. <laughs> Yes, you made that a bit dark, of course. Yeah, yeah I've got <laughs> I feel bad. Grow the carrots or I'll cut something else off. This is turning into that discussion a bit earlier again. See, so, yeah, I feel like oh. step number one is celebrity farmer. Then I guess, like, celebrity livestock guy. They have to be celebrities. <laughs> they, yeah. It doesn't matter about the level of competence. Just so long as they've had a TV show at some point. <laughs> Gilbert, because I imagine he's decent crack. Who? Rod Gilbert, he's decent crack, and I bet he knows something about rearing farm animals. Having seen the well, shows I've seen Rod Gilbert, and he probably doesn't, but he would probably be decent crack, yeah. I don't know why Rod Gilbert just seems like the guy who'd be able to, like, raise a sheep. Mm. And no, that's not meant to be a backhanded joke against the Welsh now that I think I about it. I was gonna it. say, that <laughs> you picked the one Welsh comedian that I could think of when, like, that guy could... What, Wait, um... I didn't think, I think, like, maybe how to give him, like, a cow or a pig's a bit much, but, like, something like a goat or a sheep's probably relatively easy. Where are you gonna get this cow or sheep from? You have one sheep of the other four. in the... in the... <laughs> sheep <thing>. seeds. <laughs> so you, you, you just plant your sheep and then they grow? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I would probably take first of my wife, of course, and then one of the smartest males and one of the smartest females in the world to procreate intelligent people, hopefully. And then uh, Ricky Gervais. Oh, God. Yeah, Yeah, we're not seeing eye to eye on that one. (laughs) He's funny as fuck. Just sat in the corner cackling away like some kind of freakish goblin. You want to have someone that's funny with you in the Fallout shelter as well, because otherwise yeah, it would just be Rod boring. Funny. Yeah, I think we had Rod Gilbert, yeah. And you can. I don't. I don't know. I don't know who Rod Gilbert is. Remember, I'm from Sweden. Oh, you should look up Rod Gilbert. He's good. I think most of his stuff's on YouTube now. Yeah, probably both. He's much better uh, than Ricky Gervais. And then he would be really funny, but I mean, that's also the problem with humor that it's really subjective. But I'm going to check up Rod Gilbert. Not right now. Yeah, so I'll probably I'll have try something for you for next time. Later. Yeah. So, by the way, <laughs> if <laughs> someone asks you a question, but is then crushed to death by a falling tree, do you still have to answer the question? 
I mean, I feel like it would be disrespectful not to. What if you didn't hear it because it's kind the, tree, of like, the falling tree was so loud? Well, then you'd have to go like, what? And then they wouldn't answer, so you wouldn't be obligated anymore. Mm. But it's kind of like when someone's like, Will you honor a dying man's last request? And like, that's like the same thing as answering their last question, isn't it? Well, it depends if they ask just you anything be rude. else. Well, they wouldn't ask you anything else because they've just been crushed by a tree. True. So your answer to the question would be no, but you would no, still answer the it. Would be, I would answer the question out of respect. Okay. AJ, if you had to marry a Muppet, yeah, which like... Muppet would it be? Oh, um... I thought you were asking me the same question, I didn't realize we were going one by one. Don't really, don't really much debate it. on that question, so we'll, we'll, we'll try and do a bit yeah, more rapid fire. That's fair enough. Well, obviously Gonzo's out because, uh, you know, I can't deal with that kind of stress in my life. Probably Rolf, he seems pretty chill. You know, and then he can play the piano and I can just, like, jam out on guitar. It'd be fun. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just reading the next question and just looking and going, like, I don't know if I can explain this to Lenida. Try it. Would you rather date a man who has a six-foot-tall penis or a man who, instead of having a penis, has a tiny man there? With hands. Does the tiny man have a tiny penis? <laughs> no, but he has hands. So, it's a man with a six-foot-tall penis or a man who has a penis that is like a little man yes that sort of depends on how the person is you could get the yeah this is this it is time job it's the boring <laughs> schmuck again i don't give a shit about the size it was just be how he would be as a person since i wouldn't do anything sexual with this guy anyway so there is yeah. but if you had to there's a female equivalent if you'd if you'd rather yes Female equivalent is, would you rather date a woman with a six-foot vulva or a woman who instead of a genitalia has another woman living in a small burrow between her legs? So the same question, really. Yeah. Yeah. Except uh, I, I would I, fit inside that. I would definitely go for the six-foot vulva because I don't know the personality of the the other one that's living down there. Also, quite, quite angry. Can... What is the personality of the, like, the, the small... You know the the mini one was like great, but the like the the normal sized person who is walking around with it on, you know, is kind of boring yeah. to talk to. I'm getting what you're saying, but it would probably be way better to be with just one woman that was boring than to be with two women at the same time. Yeah, Ooh, interesting. No. But it would okay. be a permanent three. <sighs> One woman at a time is sort of enough, I think. Or like, well, one, one person at a time is enough as well when you're actually living and dating someone. So, yeah. I have to go with a six foot Volvo. I mean, I can just snuggle in there and have a cozy time because it's, yeah. yeah. I don't know how that would work though, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how tall would the woman have to be? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Pretty fucking I big, I imagine, that. yeah. 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 She's somehow like five foot six, but with a like six foot full foot. Quite interesting it's question, like, but yeah. It's like you know when you have a caravan, and the caravan has like the little outside tenty bit attached to the caravan. Mhm. Mm Is it like that, but like a person? Possibly. I don't think the card will say that. I mean, you could make it if you had some salt and vinegar seasoning. <laughs> then it might. Just oh work. no, that would just be painful and uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Rick, what is your favourite swear word? I do like bollocks. It's not really a, a hard swear word, but it's just, uh, it's so quintessentially British. It's, it just sounds good. It's very versatile. Yeah. I like that too. Although linguistically, linguistically, I do think fuck is a very interesting word. Because it's one of the few words that can be used as part of another word. Like, fan fucking tastic. There's not many words that you can do that with. And so linguistically, it's a, it, there's a name for it, but it's, I can't remember, but it's linguistically a very interesting word. But for the purposes of the question, I will say bollocks. Dogs or otherwise. <laughs> you never heard that phrase, the dog's bollocks, right? I've heard of many phrases, yes. It just means but... it's really good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I mean, shit is a bit more... Sh mm -hmm. And shit is another word that you can put everywhere and just, it can be good, it could be bad, and just, yeah. I love it how we have stuff that we actually do 
uh, or things that are actually just anatomical and it's swear words. It's interesting how it became that way. Yeah, it is weird. Mm -hmm. It's really weird, hmm. but I think it's part of the things you should not do yeah. frivolously. Those words we're going to use as swear words. Rapid mm. fire questions for you all. So each of you just have to tell me in turn. So starting with AJ. What is the sexiest language? Uh, Klingon. Lanida? <laughs> French. Bowery. English, but with like a uh, Northern Irish accent, preferably by a red-headed girl. <laughs> <laughs> a really thick Northern Ireland accent just for you, Belvy. No, that, that, that's not what I quite thought was thinking of. I'll be, I'll be uh, honest. I think we will not wrong, accept I don't know. <laughs> the advances of you into our house. I, I can't do Northern Ireland. I would love to have you in my room, Belvy. I'd take you round the walls. <laughs> We all know what happened last time I tried doing an Irish accent and that didn't go very well, so I'm just going to do that. I remember the Northern Ireland election is very harsh, so yeah. Okay, another quick fire run. Would you rather a fancy kitchen or a big garden? Lanida. Fancy kitchen. Elry. Fancy kitchen. AJ. Yeah, kitchen. Okay. This is probably going to be slightly longer. If you could be any sitcom character, who would you be? Oh, right. Do people still watch sitcoms? Apparently. Apparently, yeah. What? I, I can't think of any sitcoms that aren't shit off the top of my head. Well, you could be a character in there, um, Oh, shit, what was that one with... I watched it in years. Spaced Out? Spaced you Out was a good spaced. show. Was that a sitcom? Spaced. Oh, yeah, Spaced was that... Yeah, that one. Was that a good... Was that a sitcom? Yes, technically. Technically. One of the background characters in Spaced. Because <laughs> I can't think of the names of any characters either. <laughs> I could see you doing Brian quite well, actually. Who played Brian? Oh, I can't remember his name. He played the Doctor in Green Wing. <gasps> no, yeah, right, uh, right. Mark Heath. Forget all of that. Forget all of that. Richard mm -hmm. Iowade in Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Dean Lerner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dean Lerner. Oh, I love Dean Lerner. AJ? Well, I was going to say JD from Scrubs, but I think it might be funnier to be Dr. Beardface from Scrubs. Because I only have to show up every once in a while, and then I can just be like, "It's beard for say." <laughs> Fair enough. I've recently rewatched Scrubs. There was a lot of Scrubs. Did you watch like the whole thing? Well, no, I left off season nine because that's like not really a real Crash. season. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Rosa from Blue Nine Nine. Yeah. Yeah. What thing do you regret destroying with fire the most, AJ? Well, I haven't destroyed a lot of stuff with fire. What thing would I regret? Like, so oh, no, say I'd just it's, it's, a bunch of stuff. Do you regret destroying with fire? That very narrows it down if you've not destroyed much with fire. It really does. I don't really burn a lot of stuff, to be perfectly honest. I don't know. <sighs> Dresden. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It wasn't me personally, but I'm taking responsibility for it. I probably shouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> I mean more on behalf of... Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not taking responsibility for the Dresden bombing. I'm just saying I regret that the country did it. You regret that Dresden was bombed. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, you well, heard it here first, folks. I don't have anything. Like AJ, I rarely destroy things with fire, uh, so I, I don't I know. Okay. Barry? I mean, I burned some sausages doing a barbecue once. I suppose that is in a literal sense something I destroyed with fire. Yes. So those sausages... <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the weirdest questions in this book, and this book is quite weird, but this is word for word this question. Would you rather have pubic hair made of unremovable barbed wire or be attacked by a rabid badger in your sleep once a week? Well, once a week is fairly <laughs> often. <laughs> I mean, I'd go with the badger, personally. I feel like after a while I'd develop coping strategies, but like the barbed wire like is constant. Yeah, you could just slip in like a box. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, you so could you... just hire me with my barbed wire pubic hair and he wouldn't come near you, so yeah. Yeah, you can like pelvic just thrust the badger and stuff. Just string the nice pubic hair around you. Yeah. 
<laughs> like some kind of fucked up airbase. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I would think you'll always have employment as part of the RAF. <laughs> <laughs> Just go and stand stand at the end of the runway with your pubes out. That'll stop the uh, yeah. general public from getting in. Yeah, you yeah. can like sit there with the book. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm thinking as well, I mean, pubic hair actually grows, so will the barbed wire pubic hair grow? Yep. So then, like, every other time when there comes the little barb, it's gonna hurt as fuck when it grows. I mean, if so, we get right down yeah. to it, the badger will grow as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but eventually the no, badger It just will says a die. badger. It's not the same badger, oh. just say a badger once a week. So, I mean, just have your bread in your boots, you'll be fine. Yep. The badger is the obvious alternative. Okay. But, yeah, so uh, I feel like like this is like a weird mutant thing from like X Men. What? It's like skin or something. Sorry, skin was literally a mutant. That his whole thing was he just had a shit ton of extra skin. That was his superpower. That was his <laughs> mutant superpower. Right. Well, let's let's go with something far cleaner. If you won a million pounds, but told you could only keep what you spent in a day, as in like what you bought in a single day, what would you spend the money on? Ah, uh, stocks, of course. So essentially, whatever I earn in the day, I have to Basically, spend. You on. get given a million in pounds, but told anything you don't spend oh. at the end of the day, we take back off you, and it's in cash. So you can't buy shit online. Hmm. Uh, it would be stocks right off, just I buying just a buy lot of stocks, and then you can sell them the next day and get your money yeah. back. Yeah. But you would have to go to like New York to buy stocks, wouldn't you? Or London. Yeah, can London buy, works fine. Can you fine. buy stocks in cash? You go with like a briefcase full oh, of money. Well, right. Give me all your stocks. What the fuck have you done to your microphone? Yeah, I, I moved it slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, try that again. You could, just, you, you could just run into a bank probably and just get it to your account and then buy the stocks. You have one day. Yeah, but you I don't would, think you... it would be a problem. Just buy like a building <laughs> and then sell the building. Pay it and in then cash. you have a million pounds. So you can buy a building for cash? Fine, buy a lot of Mars bars and then come back <laughs> like the next day and be like, I bought too many Mars bars, I want to return these Mars bars. Now we're talking. <laughs> some, corner sh some poor corner shop has to refund you a million yeah. Mars bars. <laughs> Actually, right, real talk. Do you think scratch cards would be a worthwhile investment at a million pounds? Yes. Like, statistically? Statistically, no. Just buy a million pounds worth of scratch cards and you'll probably make your money back. Mm -hmm. No, you won't. They're just made that way. I mean, the statistics of winning, one of the things... <gasps> Could is... I go to a casino and get a million pounds worth of chips and then just cash in my million pounds worth of chips the next day? I'm sure you could, Barry. Probably. That would work. Yeah, it seems yeah. like a good idea. Except it, won't, it will only be one million then. You could actually make some more money of it. I mean, yeah, but then I'm still a million pounds. Yeah. You got any answer for this, AJ? No, I mean, it, it, I had some ideas right up until you were like, it's just in cash. You know, so you can't buy stuff online because I would have been like, I would go and buy, you know, anything I could ever possibly want or anything on, online and that. Mm -hmm. But like, if it's in cash, I'm a little thinking like, well, what's in like a travel distance that I could spend on cash? And yeah, probably something. Although to be fair, like the, all this like buying chips and things, it's kind of getting around the loophole though, really, isn't it? It's not to say, you know, yep. the actual question is if you can only buy stuff in cash, that's the thing. And the answer that you've both given is, here's how I'm going to avoid that, the one rule of the game, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, I would probably pay off my mortgage on my house and stuff like that as well, but... Yeah, like, uh, real talk, I'd probably buy a house. Like, maybe a couple of, like, buildings, like, small houses. But, but good oh, luck. Here's what buying. I do then. I would I would buy out my mum from the house we live in. <laughs> so pay her cash for what I would inherit. That way I don't get taxed on inher inheritance tax. Hmm. Oh, super mm. kind of morbid answer. But um. Yes, and that you have to be a good boy as well. Oh, I know. I'm the I'm like I'm in the lead between me and my brother. Yeah. So she doesn't like write you out of the will and anything like that. Nah, man, I'm the good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, another rapid-fire question. At what age does someone become properly old? Bellry. I mean, I already feel like an old man. I'm 26. Careful now. I mean, I am a bit... To be fair, I am a bit <laughs> of an old man. No, but, like, I, I am a bit of an old man already. 
So I think it depends on the person, but like, let's just go for a boring answer and say like 75. Okay. <laughs> AJ? I don't know. I feel like 50 is a good watermark to be like, I can't do young people's stuff anymore. If that makes sense. Okay. Like if I'm still like going out like bar hopping or whatever and I'm 50, I mean, it's optimistic of me to think I'm going to last that long anyway, but like, yeah. <laughs> That, but I will very harshly judge someone who's like 35 drinking Blue Wicked. Do you mean WKD? Blue Wicked, yeah. You're the first person I've ever heard call it Wicked. Everybody I've Maybe known it's... ever has called it WKD Blues. Maybe that's just a northern thing then. No, because we don't yeah. do that. You're not northern, you're like the south of another country. We're not northern, we're just more <laughs> north than you. You're like, no, you're like the Midlands of a different country. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the thing is you that you think that WKD would be sold in the north of Scotland, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> anyway, Lanida. I would go with the answer, never. Mmm. Mmm. Just because, yeah, I turned 40 the other day. And, um, he doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, I'm 40. But, I mean, the problem is you always see more people that are older than you. And you think, oh, they're really old and well, they're behaving really strange. And then when you get there yourself, it's just like, yeah, your mind is not older, it's just your body. So you never get that old. It's, and, and some, but I mean, some people get old when they're 14. So um, it's just like Billy says, uh, from person to person and how their mind works. I want men my 39. And you can definitely <laughs> do young stuff thing when you're 50. So absolutely. I saw you hope the night. God. Yeah, well, um, All right. it might be physics. If money was no option, what would be your ideal Halloween costume? But starting with AJ. Hmm, that's tough. I mean, with money as no object, you could just build like, like, say I said like Iron Man, I could just build a working Iron Man suit if yes. money was no object. So I'm just gonna say that. Okay. Neither. I build my own Iron Man suit. It's technically a costume if I wear it to a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. Big fucking mech suit. Oh, would shit. you be a Gundam, yeah. Billy? Yeah, but which Gundam? <laughs> Me too! <laughs> which Gundam would I be? Would I be like RX-78-2? Would I be RX-78-0? Uh, RX would I be like... Is that, no, it wouldn't be a Zaku. Is he on a trash? That they are iconic, for John. Yeah, but that one's especially for John. I think it's RX-1 Crossbones. That's a pretty cool suit. Congratulations, you've all been given a pet, and it's whatever you've always wanted. It's a miniature dinosaur. What would it be? I mean, that's not true because I always wanted a hedgehog. It's a miniature <laughs> dinosaur. So you want a spinosaurus then? Sure. Actually, they're not really that spiky. I mean, they are, but you know, not like hedgehog style. Nah, I would just go for T Rex. I love T Rex. It would be, it would be a miniature Lanida because he's so old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bill Ray. I feel yeah. like, okay, <laughs> just steer it back to the question. I feel like if it's going to be a pet, I don't want it to be trying to eat me. So I want like a, a Labrador sized Triceratops. I'd be I'm very sorry. happy I to think, see I, you all the time. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think Bellary broke himself, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was just really funny. Uh, right. Well, I mean, it's okay, Bellary. I don't give a shit about my age. My wife is more concerned about my age than I am, so quite all right. I have two more I'll just quickly do. So, quick farm. Yep. We'd well have the neck of a giraffe or a tongue of a lizard. Neck tongue of a, a lizard. Giraffe, then tongue can... of a lizard every time. Yeah, they... <laughs> Fences would be no obstacle for me if I had the neck of a giraffe. I How many people often have a problem with fences? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I could be nauseant with people's gardens. And I could finally reach the tall shelves. With your like mouth? This. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than I can do now. <laughs> what? Because I'm short. <laughs> right, okay. What was AJ's answer? Oh, uh, lizard tongue. Lizard tongue, okay. So you would just have a really long neck, Barry? I mean, it would have the giraffe pattern on it. It would do, that is very true. I'm assuming I've literally had a giraffe's neck transplanted where my neck would go. You would, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what that would do for your blood pressure, though. Well, you're very dizzy It head. would probably make it very low, but... I mean, giraffes have special capillary systems in the heads, 
Yeah, but you don't. Combat that. It's cool that the heads don't explode when they bend down to drink water. But I don't. No. <laughs> so don't drink the water. And how, how would you get the water to your face if you had a giraffe neck? I would have very long <laughs> straws. Straws? <laughs> but in this climate... Made of paper, then. A straw. <laughs> in this climate, Barry, how could you have a straw? In this climate? Yes. Yeah, like I said, straws. it would be made of paper. It would be made of paper. I mean... Couldn't, like, a leg bone be a straw? So you'd have a leg bone? Doesn't it just have to be... Doesn't it just have to be... No, I'm saying, doesn't it just literally have to be any, like, hollow tube? Yes. It might work. Yeah. I would have the world's most elaborate and largest silly straw. It could be metal as well, you know. It's just... It could be metal, this is very true. A metal silly straw. You can get, like, plastic ones that are, like, non-disposable. Like, we used to have, like you say, silly straw type things when I was younger, and it was like, we'd use them over and over again. Yep. And it's like those glasses, exactly. and those straws that also form a pair of glasses. Yes, I've seen those. Okay, yep. well, your final question. What film, of any you can choose, would you like to see retold through medium of Muppets? Right. Ooh. So I'm going to introduce you guys to an anime. Give me two minutes. God. <laughs> Well, while we wait him, him to of find course. that, Lenaida? I would probably want to see uh, Star Wars. I Can I choose the whole first original trilogy? I suppose you could, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's three movies, but it's any of them told like through Muppets would be awesome. Through the medium of Muppets? Through the medium of Muppets, yeah, that would be really, really cool. Okay. I love some adaptations. I mean, that have done some Star Wars, like Family Guy, Star Wars, and stuff like that. It's just hilarious. So, and I love the Muppets. So, and that would be really, really cool. Okay, uh, Adrian. It's tough. I was think originally I thought Star Wars was almost thought like because again like Family Guy stuff and things. It's sort of it was okay the first time, but like I, I won't watch it again because Star Wars is kind of like I don't know. I'd say it's like my favorite thing and like. I don't know, it would just feel kind of cheesy to me at least to have the like the Muppet version of it. So I'm just kind of like thinking like, well, what would be really dumb with Muppets? Mm -hmm. So I kind of landed on Muppet Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It's doable in so many ways. <laughs> anyway, Barry, what's your answer? So... For the people who aren't in the Discord, what I have linked is a scene from something called Thunderbolt Fantasy. Oh, Christ. Which is ostensibly, it's like a puppet show, but it, it was on Crunchyroll, so I'm going to call it an anime. It's absolutely hilarious. Like, it's, it's over the top, overly choreographed, is like anything you would expect. And so I want to say, like, some incredibly intense action movie done in this style. So, like, I don't know, like, The Expendables. But Muppets, yeah, hmm. that would work. I mean, but also you should watch Thunderbolt Fantasy because it's absolutely hilarious. I mean, did you see the Happy Time Murders? I did. I did because it's got that actress in it who's absolutely terrible. Well, she works quite well in that movie. Actually, she worked very. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, same here. What do you call her? Melissa? Is it Melissa McCarthy? Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really don't like her, like at all. Why not? She's just not very funny. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, it's I just mean, very sort of like one note. Yeah, well, I mean, she's not the main part of the story. The Muppets are. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, a, I it's really a good movie. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not just saying. I enjoyed it. It's maybe not a good movie, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's well. a bit yeah. stupid, but it was fun. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we will wrap it up there. <laughs> Hopefully not the last time, but after some of the responses tonight, maybe it will be. So actually, let's probably end on a haiku. Starting with Barry. I mean, that's a lot to put on someone just to come up with a haiku or <laughs> You've got the power of Google. What's the format? It's, it's 5745, isn't it? Uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. 5745. Oh, fuck's sake, it's two minutes. I need to come up with a fucking subject matter in a bloody haiku. <laughs> See, we ask a lot on this show. Or should I start at the bottom and work my way up to your magnificent haiku, Barry? So, haikus are an art from the Eastern Lands, Japan. Fuck you, Nikolai. Fuck you. I spent too long on that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. AJ? Was this worth it, folks? Do you regret listening? Bye. See you next week. That works very well, yeah. 
It does. And Bonetta? Yeah, since I uh, experienced in this, and it's not my language either, so I'm just gonna give you one nice one from Google. Here it comes. Love is like winter. Warm breaths thaw cold hearts until one day the spring comes. So, mic check, and to celebrate National Knock Knock Joke Day, what was your favorite knock knock joke? Starting with Dragon. Why are you doing a mic check for me? Because I wanted to make sure you could be heard, and the only example it gave on the website was this one, which is terrible. Okay. I... Look, I'm not going to lie, mine's not going to be much better than that. I'm not going to be on this recording, though. Do you not have a favourite knock-knock joke? Not that I can bring to mind. <laughs> I know, I disappoint you. Okay, then go bell ring. Knock knock. Who's there? A little old lady. A little old lady who? Oh, I never knew you could yodel. <laughs> that was Pretty good. One. Solid. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Follow that one up, guys. <laughs> I'm just hoping nobody's taking the only one I know, so yeah. Okay, AJ? Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Moo. Okay. Yep, that's about See, what that one deserves. This recording I don't will have get that one, meow giggling like <laughs> hell in the background to that one. <laughs> and the lighter? Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo <laughs> Oh, don't be sad. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funnier to me than the awkward silence after you say knock knock and nobody says anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was a fun one. Knock knock is like, it's, 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 it's to tired. help build the humor. <laughs> not great for a mic check, though. No. <laughs> the problem is, no. knock jokes, really not. The problem is that knock knock jokes are inherently really, really bad. You've gone really yeah. quiet all of a sudden. But they are, they're really not very good. Like, has well, I mean, ever written a good knock knock joke? Hang on. Probably. I'm sure there will this... be some somewhere. Yeah, we have this guy in Sweden. Uh, there's a Swedish version of them. And he just does these crazy, stupid things with, and it's hilarious just because he's hilarious. They don't make any sense. It's just really bad. But it's funny just because he does it in a well, funny way. We have a page here that says 40 ridiculous knock knock jokes that will get you a laugh on demand. Ooh. First oh, one man. is terrible. Cool. What's the first one? The first one is knock knock. Who's there? Cow says. Cow says who? Cow says who? No, cow says moo. Ooh. It's sort of a better version than AJ's one. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The second right, one is Belby's one. Yeah. What? They stole my joke? Yep. Yeah. Your joke. Yeah. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Why? Why who? I'm fine. How are you? Ooh. <laughs> I was. I was almost certain there would come a waifu there, but yeah. Hawaii. It was you. Country. Yeah. I don't get this one. Knock knock. Who 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 is Who's there? there? Europe. Oh. Europe. No. That was a good one. <laughs> I don't Europe get it. Who? Europe. Who? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> you are. <open that. laughs> now it got funny, even though it wasn't. But yeah. Oh knock. Jesus! Who's there? A door. A door. Who? A door is between us, open up. Ah, I thought you would say adore me. Yeah, I thought it was going that way as well. That one is yeah. awful. It works better when it's written down, quite frankly. Yeah. Knock knock. Who's Who there? Cash. Cash, Cash who? 
nuts. Yeah, the <laughs> joke's meant to end with no thanks, I'll have some peanuts, but that's a terrible way of ending the joke. It is, but I like the, the I like the crooks of Kashu. Mostly because I enjoy Kashuna. I would end that joke with just like the word pistachio or something instead. Pistachio is a funnier word. Fucking terrible. Yeah. But it will get you a laugh on demand. Mm-hmm. It's better than some of these. This is oh god, that's a Graham one. I'm not even gonna say it, I'm just gonna put it into chat. That's a Graham one if I ever heard it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes. This is horrible. Ugh, these are awful. I'm gonna link Isn't that the so point can... of knock knock jokes though? You, you yeah, but probably are these are worse than yeah. normal. Knock knock. Well, yeah. Who's there? Police. Police who? Please stop open telling up. all these god awful jokes. I mean, that site is probably Rumpy American. Rumpy Bellry. Why is the, the picture, picture doesn't make any sense? Just some random people at a restaurant where the menu consists of sandwiches slash burger, nachos slash fajita, and pasta. Just non-specific pasta. Non-specific pasta. Yeah. Buzzfeed feed will save us, guys. No, it oh, will no. not. No, no. <laughs> What? No, these are actually really bad. He sent surprise. Even by both speed standard. Oh, fair. Oh, Christ. Well, I'm glad I, I looked at that one, not the 200 best knock knock jokes for everyone to enjoy. I would be here all night. Why? Why would you <laughs> do that to yourself? Just stop already. <laughs> Well, Many times I go into Discord chats and like nobody can hear me and I can't hear them or vice versa. That's why I never update anything and just leave it until it eventually just burns out. Well, Bowery, just so you're aware, the day before Dragon Meat is also National Day of Mourning. Oh god, that's not a good thing. Thankfully yeah, we're not travelling. It's good to have a day. Of, I think I am. But, uh, I, yeah, I'm coming up on the front. We are travelling on Electronic Greeting Day, which, you know, should it's be fun. And, you know, the sad thing is, the day before Dragon Meat is also National Buy Nothing Day. Well, that's alright, because I need to save my money to waste on gem cut dice. <laughs> <laughs> I did also notice Simpson. that we might have a problem on Dragon Meat. Because it's National Stay Home Because You're Well Day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well. Oh, one for you, Barry. It's National Mason Jar Day as well. Nah, fuck off, I hate mason jars. Do you? They like, are genuinely. somewhat pretentious. They are, yes. Like, it's not a glass. Drink out of a glass. Well, the only Also, other... why are they called mason jars? You don't put rocks in them. Well, in case you're wondering, Barry, it's also Meth Awareness Day and National Moose Day. I'm not a big fan of moose either, if I'm being honest. Moose? Where's I like the texture. There? Yeah. Maybe like I was just looking at me really confused what I meant by moose. They're large mammals that have like horns, well antlers technically, they live in Canada. I think you'll find in Scotland they're very small creatures that run underneath your floorboards. Yeah, eat cheese. Yep. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, but like, if, I, <laughs> if I made that joke it'd probably be racist somehow. Yeah, yes. absolutely it would be. It would be yeah. completely racist, you English cunt. Anyway, I'm thinking of like oh. a slur for a Scottish person. I can't think of one. In pancakes. Well, I only know mine, and since I am cursed to never make a good pancake, shit. <laughs> That's fair. I have never made a pancake that actually looks like a pancake. I can only make crepes properly. Can't make drop pancakes properly. See, mine don't, they're not round, they don't puff up, they don't even taste like pancakes, they're just kind of a mush on a plate that I eat. Yeah, but it's, surely, quite, it's quite difficult. Surely the vegan part is why they don't puff up, though. No, like it starts no. to puff up, and then I try to flip it, and then somewhere along the lines it gets stuck, and then I end up scraping the mess and trying to flip that, and then that becomes a bit more of a mush, and then some bits burn on the outside, and then it all just kind of collapses in on itself. <laughs> what are you using your frying pan for? Like, I guess you don't use butter? Do you use, like, olive oil or something like that instead? I, I use, like, vegan butter and olive oil, and I just kind of go along with the okay. recipe, and 
Every time, every time. I, I don't know what's with pancake. Yeah, the hardest part is getting to unstick. So if you don't have enough like stuff like that in it, they will just stick, and then you have to. You need a lot more <laughs> yeah. oil than you think. Yeah. My only. It's quite a lot. I make, yeah. I make pancakes for work, but we do it in like batch, big batches. My only tip is don't overwork the mixture, and slowly add your water. But yeah, because that, that's, that's what I find with do the big batches, but I don't know in a smaller quantity. I'm just gonna very quickly go out so I can dog will follow me. So, two minutes, just keep talking amongst yourselves about pancakes, and we'll start when I get back. Come on! It just annoys me, because I'm pretty good at cooking. Like, I can make 99% of stuff. Like, if it's vegan, I can cook it, you know? Pretty decent. And then pancakes happen, <laughs> and... I'm the same. I think one has something. It, they look like cow hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically my omelettes as well. I can't, it does I just, look I, like pancakes. It's just, Oh, and I chef. made some. I'll and show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it hurts because I made like a really nice like soup and noodle thing today. And I'm like, how can I make this with no recipe? And then pancakes happen. And I follow the recipe to a tea and it comes out looking like a cow pat. Yeah, it's not good that vegan wrong. pancakes looks like cow pat. That's not good. I don't think I meant to. It's just me. So what do you Sorry, use Valerie? for ingredients? Uh, no, um, flour, there's sugar in there, there's... I can't um, really hear you now. soy milk. Sorry, I'll, Sorry. I'll pass um, <laughs> Now that's a question for the ages. So, I'm trying to troubleshoot, <laughs> and one of the things it says is put your... Oh, what's the word? I forgot the word. Put the SKU, which will be on a sticker on the back of your laptop, into Lenovo's site to see if you need a BIOS update. But the SKU bit is rubbed off of the back of the sticker. Oh, oh. no. But if you're going to upgrade your BIOS, you can get your serial number for your computer, I think, inside. Or if you just have your, you know, your model of the computer, you can just go to the website and get the update, the update BIOS for it, like from the website. So that shouldn't be a problem. I tried putting the product key on the back of it and it didn't find anything. <laughs> well, just take your, you know, your computer model, make and model and just ser search for BIOS driver or drivers. I don't know what type of computer this is, I just bought it because it was cheap. That's why I suggested maybe we should just have a an hour or two, you and me, and then I can come in and check your stuff. You might see all the anime porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's for it's, it's an art form. He might hold his computer hostage into bad money. He might unsign him uh, from country rule. Prob probably, <laughs> uh, probably not gonna wanna do that, no thanks. Alright, that's the dog looking at me very forlornly from behind the baby gate, as in like, why have you left me, Dad? Aww. I don't care if you've given me a carrot, I'm still unhappy. Surely there's somewhere in the computer that'll tell you what computer it is. Yes. Why can't I find <laughs> everything else has got what my processor is, like all the rest of that, but it doesn't tell me what kind of computer it is. <laughs> There's a fox screaming outside and it sounds like somebody dying. <laughs> uh, fox is a weird That's just laptop. Uh, noises. You see that command battery? <coughs> Write that in a system prompt and you will get the make and model of your computer. Like you. Yeah, you open a command prompt. You know how to do that, right? Yeah. You type command prompt into the search bar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that didn't really help. The model is apparently. Yeah. I was expecting more, I'll be honest. Uh -huh. Do you think Bowery's going to be fixing his computer anytime soon? No, no, go, go with us on multitask. You what? Yeah. I'm multitask. multitask. Right. Start. It's scanning anyway. <laughs> if we just hear the words virus detected. As he goes through, I'll be like, right, okay. 